Hey, what's going on guys, G1X here, and today I thought we'd take a look at Fans Project's Function X4 Sigma L, also known as the Headmaster Mind Wipe. So this is one that I've been anticipating for a while now, just because as a kid and also now, he's my favorite Headmaster. I have the G1 and I had it back when I was a kid, so that's one of the reasons why I'm going to be attached to this guy a little bit more than the others, but I think he's a pretty cool character. Now I do have quite a few comparisons for you guys today. I do have the G1 Mind Wipe that we'll take a look at in his Bat Mode, also in his Robot Mode. I do have recently Masterpiece Wheeljack, so we'll take a look at that in case you guys got that in. I want to see what he scales up to next to him. Also the previous Fans Project Headmasters, and because he came out here recently, Master My Creations Talon, or also known as Dive Bomb. Just because they both have massive wingspans, I kind of wanted to show those two off together. Now before we get into the comparisons, I do want to show you one little quick thing. Uh, his feet down here, uh, they do have a nice joint. There's also a joint here and also a rotating joint here. Uh, I did put this guy on Instagram with him hanging from my shelf just using these two, uh, what do you want to call them, paws or feet, whatever. And he hung there perfectly fine. Uh, he didn't start to bend at all and I let him go. I took a couple of pictures, put them on Instagram and also my Twitter. So if you want to check that out, feel free. Uh, but he does pass that test. So I think that was really cool. And it just kind of shows the, the strength of those joints. Uh, they're better there in the feet than they are one place on his arm. So I will get that into that whenever we get into his robot mode. But first off, let's take a look at this guy individually. Uh, there are some really nice paint apps on him. You can kind of see them already. But you have the nice purple here in the middle. But then you also have this fuchsia or pink here where the speakers are. Uh, if you can kind of see that a little bit better. So all six of those speakers are the same fuchsia color. Same that you have here on his wings. And it kind of ties into what you see here in his face. So it's a totally different color than what the purple is right here. Even though it might look in the light that it's almost the same. You can also see the nice green. Um, oh, there went G1 Mind Wipe. But there's the nice kind of neon green, which I think is really cool. You take a look here at the back and see that again. Uh, you can see his coffin, which I think is really cool. They made you know this kind of design as a coffin uh, for you to fit his little headmaster in there. And also this part is translucent green, which is really nice. I dig this guy so much. I can see the same neon green there in his eyes, which looks pretty cool. Also with the gray, now you'll notice on this guy whenever we start to transform him, uh, you can see that already, you know, there's a little gray joint here, there's some gray right here, of uh, the gray ball joints, uh, also, you know, the ball joints back here, they're being gray. That doesn't bother me very much, uh, you know, that they're not like purple or black or anything like that, because you put gray paint here so it makes it kind of break up and feel like it's part of it you got the gray or silver paint going on right through out here uh same as here so it kind of makes it you know me feel that it's kind of that gray all over where it just kind of accents all over the place kind of like the screen here so i think that that was a nice tie-in i'm pretty sure that was intentional even though i don't know for you know for sure uh the other thing is the black that you know they added just little bitty black pieces all throughout here, uh, especially here on the head. You can see here on the side. Let me make sure that's focused a little bit better. Uh, but here on the side of his head, also going back throughout here, uh, even on the back parts of the ears. Uh, I like that. So just, you know, and you can see some more purple paint here. So they did a really nice job. Uh, also the mold, you can see with the feet. Got these little, you know, back little claws or little spiky things here. Uh, the shotguns, you can see that you have a pair of those. They do have weapon storage. These can go up and down. So if you wanted to do that for some reason. But overall, a really cool looking figure. Uh, does have quite a bit of articulation in this mode. You can see that he can stand just fine, even with his massive wingspan. That was something that I had a little bit more trouble with the Mastermind Creations Talon. This guy is much easier to stand with, you know, and his, his paws are a lot stronger as well, like I mentioned before with him hanging on the shelf. But as far as his articulation, uh, his head can go back and forth. So if you wanted to have him like flying, uh, then I guess if you had some kind of stand, uh, where could you put that? Maybe you could put it in there. Huh. Didn't really look at that because I don't have any stands. But uh, his head, you know, does uh, go up and down. His mouth can open and close. You can see that uh, he had some nice little teeth in there. If we can get that focused again for you. And he's got those fangs. It looks like he's got like some kind of torch thing in his mouth, but... Uh, the character never used anything like that as far as I remember. I uh, just had his like mind control stuff. 
But there's a nice little look at him. The inside of the wings are kind of got this like robotic feel to them. Uh, I like that instead of not just leaving them kind of plain like they did on the back here. This is perfectly fine because it's, you know, the outside of the bat. Uh, also, as far as articulation, uh, these wings, uh, they can go up and down like this, but I think it looks kind of silly there. And I don't think it was intended for that. It's more or less to kind of get them out of the way whenever you're doing the transformation to robot mode, uh, in case they are. They can also bend at this joint and at this joint. So you can see that this one goes back and forth, goes quite a bit. Uh, then you also have this one that can close up quite a bit and go back and forth. So if you wanted to put him in that, you know, and just bend right here. And this is the, you know, the picture I took where he was, you know, hanging from, uh, you know, a shelf or something like that, then I think that looks kind of cool. But you do those however you like. Uh, they can also bend here at this joint back here, so you can see that they can bend there. Uh, the the legs, they, they don't really rotate out because uh, this section is like kind of plugged into there, uh, even though it may appear that they can. Uh, otherwise, you're going to start separating stuff here. But you can rotate at this joint. You can see that this one's not as strong. Uh, this one here uh, is a little bit stronger, and then you have you know the foot as well. So if you wanted to uh, get those you know I guess tucked up like this, like whenever he's flying, then obviously that's a possibility. This is going to be probably a little bit longer of you as you can see, but uh, there's a lot to show off. Uh, there's some things I want to make sure that. Um, you know, you guys are aware of, uh, so you, that you don't break your figure. And we'll get the, uh, I'm going to do his tail forward. He always just stands a little bit better if you do it that way. Well, anyway. Maybe not. Uh, anyways, there's the G1 and fans project. I don't know if we can get them to stand there. And you can kind of see the comparisons that they're going with, you know, here with the purple on the sides. Uh, you know, this chest is obviously a little bit different there, but the, the insides, uh, the head, he has red eyes where he has the green. And going on the back here, not really a whole lot, this, you know, the same there, but I just wanted to kind of show those two off. All right, now getting this guy transformed, uh, go up a little bit here. First thing we're gonna do is take off these guns. And just so you can get a decent look at those, uh, you can see that they're black and then they got this nice silver paint on them. Uh, here they are compared to the original G1. So really not the same at all, they're shotguns. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do with this guy is Close up the mouth, fold this up, and come up with his head. Next thing that we're going to do, there's a tab right here. I'm going to push up on that tab so you can kind of see that came up. Do the same thing with this one. Just push up. There we go. And then it's going to free up, you know, this whole section here. We're going to go ahead and pull this head, and that's going to lay, uh, lay flat there on his chest. situated so whenever we come open with a coffin there's a peg I think it's on this side it doesn't matter it's on one of these sides and there's a hole and then there's also a peg on the opposite end and a hole here so instead of coming up with just one you don't want to risk eventually breaking one of those pegs off into you know the opposite hole so you want to come up with them at the same time so I lift up with this section and then I'll also grab this section right here and I'll lift them both up at the same time and you can see that you know that peg right there and that hole, and then there was a hole here and a peg there. So you don't want those to break off into each other. You can go ahead and open that up all the way. You can see what little dude was sitting here in his uh, chair. And we'll take a look at him here in a bit. But now that we have all this open, I'm going to get these arms out of the way as best as possible. I'll probably need to yeah, just move them up like that. These legs start separating here. You can see that there's a peg here that was plugged in there. So we'll come out with those and just start to extend those out. Do the same with that one. And then you're going to rotate here at the hip. 
the same with here rotate here at the hip and then bring the green around to the front where this purple is there we go and you're going to let's see make that claw get that or bottom foot or claw whatever and make sure that that is flat together and you're going to push this throughout here sometimes it gets caught right here because it's a tight fit uh, just kind of push it over once you get that done come down with this foot and you can see that there's a double joint right here so you want to make sure that you're rotating on this one so that you can get that center piece let me show that to you again the center piece in here There we go. We're going to do the same with this one. Go ahead and rotate that in there. And that's, you see, I see it got kind of caught on there. Just kind of move it over. Push that all the way down. Come out with the foot. Make sure you, because if you, if you just come back like this, you can see that it won't close. So you want to make sure you rotate on this top one. There we go. And you'll, you'll end up, you know, rotating this. This one thing is the, the waist spins around i wish it was a little bit tighter uh then with the arm section here you just pop this little claw off and come down with this rotate this around pop this hand off there we go pop that off rotate that around and then you can come down with the shoulders make sure this camera is you can see everything come down with the shoulders this right here this wing will rotate up we'll rotate up go ahead and put those in and then you can rotate the uh, wrist here now before we get into well I guess I better show off the uh, little guy real quick this is basically what he looks like Get a nice little shot there some nice paint on him you can see that there's kind of like a little silver bat there on his chest a nice silver face red eyes so nice paint job on him totally dig it uh, there's one thing that you need to be careful with him whenever transforming him he does have articulation so i guess we'll show that off his arms move and the legs go up independently bend here at the legs Let me get this focused again so small all right, so whenever we transform this guy, you're going to grab his head and then come, you see that the, the ab is, or abs are crunching in. So you're gonna bring that around and then you can come down with these legs and the uh, thighs will fold up into his uh, calves or whatever. Then you don't wanna just come down with this section here. Uh, you know, this seems like it will just come straight down, but if you do, you'll break it off. What you wanna do is actually pull this out and you can see now that that's extended and this is a little translucent piece so it's going to be easy to break if you're sitting there just kind of pushing at it so make sure you pull that out and then come down and he's got this little visor for his head so there's a nice little look at his head something i wanted to make sure you guys were aware of because i don't want you breaking your whatever this thing costs like 70 80 bucks or something but really nice head sculpt like it a lot and we'll go ahead and put that on him. Now let's cover articulation real quick, and then we'll get into all the other good stuff. His head does rotate, so it does have that, uh, it, it doesn't bend back and forward. Uh, it does have, you can see here, the little circle there that will rotate in there. There we go. Uh, his wings, uh, they do everything that he did in bat mode. Uh, the the only problems that I do have because his shoulders, you can see that they're staying up right now, uh, just because they're you know up there quite a ways or something like that. But if you just kind of wanted to bend them out a little bit, you see how they kind of flop down. So that that's something that's you know that's kind of irritating to me. You know, if you wanted to put him in some co cool pose and he's kind of just got his arms out here a little bit and then they end up falling down. Uh, he's not doing it now. But, uh, this is a ball joint in here. So if you wanted to pop that off and maybe put some clear uh, nail polish on it, uh, you know, if you're younger, uh, I guess ask, you know, a parent. But 
Uh, you can't be too young if you bought this. But, uh, you know, just make sure that, you know, you ask someone uh, to help you out if you don't know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but you can probably put some clear nail polish in there and make those a little bit tighter so you can get those epic poses. They, Like I said, they do have the ball joint, so this does rotate 360 all the way around. It kind of goes back and forth there. It also uh, rotates here at the bicep. He does have double jointed elbows. The wrist is on a elbow joint as well. So you can get some nice poses out of that. The waist, you already saw that. I mean, this sucker is real spinny. Uh, I do wish that there was like a, a thing to where you could push, you know, his, like, like you did with Masterpiece Soundwave, to where you could actually, you know, push his torso forward on his waist. Because you can kind of see this kind of setting back there a little bit. Um, it's just something that I think it would have made it a little bit better, but it's not that big of a deal. His legs go forward. And go back and go in and out thus much. Rotate here at the thigh. Bend 90 degrees at the knee. And then his foot is on a ball joint. This will go up and down a little bit. But it does go side to side. So you do get some ankle rocker movement in there. All right now to arm him up. And get his, his guns in his hands. And you can see that they just they don't close. They just slide in that little hole right there. Which is perfectly fine with me. I think that looks cool. And it's pretty much the way they all are, I believe. And they hold up just fine. But there he is. You can kind of do the, the wings a different way, however you'd like. But a uh, little 360 at him. I just want to make sure I get everything in frame. You can see that those colors, they, they still come out really nice with the green that you could see from wherever he is in bat mode. Now here at the legs as well. Uh, those translucent pieces the silver you can see it a little bit more now here with the joints the silver but it's there on his chest as well so uh and there at the very bottom where his belt is so to me it's more of kind of like a little accent color some screws in the back but i mean you, you had to at least they're all in the back they had to assemble them somehow so again a thing that really doesn't bother me the front the way we're going to display them looks gorgeous. Uh, now setting him to the side, I'm going to get uh, G1 done here. And if you've never seen G1, so you can kind of see maybe the transformation. Uh, if you think it may be similar or a little bit different, just pop the head down in there. We're going to come down with these legs. And just got to be careful with him. Don't want to break them. Uh, the wings are fragile on this guy. And how about these fists? Oh, that one's a little tight. Anyways, we'll leave it out. Or leave it in. Put his head together. And now you can see these two guys side by side. This guy's obviously a little bit taller there. But I dig it. I think it's a nice representation of Mind Wipe, and it's kind of got that Fans Project spin on it, so it's not supposed to look exactly like this with articulation, but uh, it's just, it's an awesome representation. Come up some. All right, now as far as a few other comparisons that I, I said I would do. Here he is with... Masterpiece Will Jackson kind of see those guys are all about head-to-head. -head. Uh, I think that mind wipes just a little bit or Sigma L whatever I'm gonna call him mind wipe because uh, that's what he is to me See that he's just a little bit taller there and give him some of his his buddies That are also the fans project line. So there's quadruple U There's smart Robin and there's code and uh, so far, I mean, the line's looking really good. Um, Sigma L, Mind Wipe, you know, he's obviously a little bit taller than the rest of them. Like, almost a head taller, but he, you know, especially with the wings, he just looks like he's got that, you know, awesome presence about him. I, I love it. All right, and one more that uh, I wanted to do is show you with uh, Talon here. And Talon does have... 
a larger wingspan. Uh, it's really not even a contest. Uh, if we put these guys here, I mean, Talon can whoops, go all the way out there. So, I mean, he, he's got them by a, uh, by a bit there, as you can kind of see. But there's those two things. I'll, one last thing I wanted to do is, you know, you guys let me know if you want to start seeing the transformation back and forth as well. Uh, this has been a long video already, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. So for the, for you that don't want to see the transformation back into his bat mode, uh, you know, I guess thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you had a, you know, a, a good time and you, you really enjoyed the review. Uh, you know, let me know what you think. But uh, for you that need help maybe putting them back into his uh, bat mode, this is for you. So um, take his weapons out, and we're just going to kind of go quick about this. We're not going to worry about putting his head back in there, but uh, you saw exactly where it goes. So it's going to go in this section here. First thing that we're going to do is come back with these arms. These are going to rotate like this. We're going to rotate this fist here, and this is going to... The fist is going to fit over in here. Now, here where the there's a gray part in his hand, you can see that kind of little peg with those where it's silver and it's Paul. That's going to fit right in here. You can see where my fingernail was. So I'm going to bend that around, and you'll see that it doesn't fit quite on there. So you're going to move, push this together, and kind of pull this back, and that's going to get that to snap into place. And now you can see that that fits flush on there. So you're going to have to kind of pull this back to get that to happen. Uh, go ahead and rotate this around. Rotate that. And we're going to do this hand. Again, we're going to get that all lined up. And so that we can... It's hard to see with these wings, uh, so I apologize. There we go. Push back on that joint. So it'll fit flush just like so. All right, next thing that we're going to do is, well, we can pull this, and eh, we don't have to do that yet. Uh, with the waist, we're going to pull the uh, front part of the waist, so rotate there. Go ahead and straighten out those legs. You're going to come open with this section here. Do the same with that. You're going to pull up with the feet, just like so. You're going to flip this out. And you can go ahead and rotate those feet out. Rotate that out. And just leave this open for right now. The green is going to go on the outside. Like so. I'm going to rotate this. And then rotate this one upside down as well. Get these things out of the way. So if you need to uh, go ahead and start coming down with this, that's fine. But you got the green where it was on the outside, so it's going to stay out on the outside. And then these are going to collapse inside the legs here, just like so. And when you're bringing those around, these pegs are going to fit right up under his belly. So, there we go, there's that one. And just kind of give it a nice little push, make sure we got it in there. Next, with uh, this part here, go ahead and bring that around and just kind of snap those together. This is where you would put the uh, the head in there. You put them in his little guy form and set them in the seat and then just push these together. And just give that a nice little push, make sure that those are still together. Head, come back with that. These wing sections here, you can see that there is a little post like right there and there's a hole right here so you're going to just get that in there there we go do the same with this one make sure that comes down then you can rotate these wings down set them in rotate those down come back with the head pull the ears up and just you know adjust it however you need so there you go got them all transformed back into his bat it looks a lot like rat bat if 
you know, my honest opinion. But uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, if you want me to start doing the transformations where I go back and forth in case you guys are having a problem, most of the time I just go from the alt mode to the robot mode, let me know. But anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace.